A perspective now on the more direct and personal effect of mass shootings, like the one in Las Vegas. Judy Fox is the director of the International Disaster Psychology Program at the University of Denver. Clearly, people are traumatized, those who are directly affected by a shooting like the one we've just seen in Las Vegas. How would you describe the trauma? So, um, you know, for those who uh, have been directly involved in, in this really tragic and traumatic event, it would be uh, completely normal to experience um, a variety of stress reactions like anxiety, high anxiety and fearfulness, feeling unsafe, um, feeling sad and grief if they've lost a loved one or a friend, uh, and even some guilt about surviving. Um, and often people get better with time, but sometimes they experience even uh, further symptoms that we would categorize as post-traumatic stress disorder. And those kinds of symptoms can really disrupt your life and your daily activities. Um, I, I can go into some of those symptoms if you'd like me to tell you about them. Well, yes, but also put it in some context for me because we often talk about post-traumatic stress disorder in relation to combat veterans, for example. Are there similarities in terms of the symptoms between people who experience something like this and suffer from PTSD as there are in combat veterans, for example? Um, the situations are similar in that both have uh, experienced life-threatening situations. Uh, they've witnessed other people dying. Um, and survivor guilt is, is a very common piece of the picture. So some of the symptoms uh, are very similar. Um, and those symptoms would include things like reliving the event, experiencing nightmares or flashbacks, getting triggered by similar sounds or smells. Um, people avoid situations that remind them of the events. So in Las Vegas, for example, they might, uh, people who've um, experienced that might stay away from crowds and clearly uh, concerts. Um, feeling like the world is a very dangerous place happens when you've seen combat, experienced people dying, uh, experienced your comrades dying, as well as uh, being in a traumatic experience with those being shot at around you, as in Las Vegas. And uh, so that sense that you had that uh, you can safely walk out in the world has really changed. Take me beyond those directly involved in the event itself, because people obviously have watched and in some cases re-watched some of the terrible video that came out that night. It's coming into their living rooms in the city of Las Vegas. It's happening in their community, in other communities where they've experienced mass shootings. Many people are reliving. Talk about the effect, the, more, the broader effect of, uh, of trauma uh, on communities, for example. Yes, I, I mean, I think that um, the broader effect is that uh, all of us in any community are really uh, rocked, you know, having felt that the world is a safe place and then realizing that these things that we do, even celebratory things and fun things in groups, um, can be totally shattered by uh, events of this nature. Um, I think uh, a lot of people respond by being more anxious to go to public places and really worried about joining into group activities, and they may stay home and isolate themselves more. There, there also are community um, uh, residents in Las Vegas, as in any community, when uh, there is a trauma, um, that are responding to these events. So the first responders um, who come and uh, provide medical help and escape uh, to those that have been injured, 
taking them to hospitals and ambulances and so on. Many of those people who are part of the everyday community are directly impacted and experience vicarious trauma symptoms that are very similar to um, the victims and uh, those that have survived traumatic events. Hmm. I thank you very much for your expertise on this. Sure, you're welcome. You're welcome. Nice to talk to you.